really tough breakup with some friends of mine. One was named Jim, and one was named Jack, and one was named Mr. Miller, and there was a Hispanic guy named T uh, uh, Jose. Yeah. Dos is good. So, uh, needless to say, uh, I went away for about a 90-day retreat. Got the cobwebs out of my head, and I'm very thankful for that. But you never let a songwriting opportunity pass you by. So I started thinking about this idea, and I had some of it written. I, I didn't like the melody of the, I, a lot of parts I didn't like about it, but I liked the hook. And Matt and Darwin and Dana Nelson were booked, I mean, a huge booking. They went and played the Slug Burger, Slug Burger Festival in Corinth, Mississippi. Everybody, anybody has played the Slug Burger Festival. Now, I would really make fun of that gig, but I've never been asked to play the Slug Burger Festival, so I'm not going to. <laughs> But I was asked to tag along. Maybe next year. That place, There's always next year. That place is literally so far in the past. We had to get directions from two Confederate soldiers how to get up there. And they were still looking for General Lee. And I'm not talking about the car either. I'm talking about the real general. That's how old that, that song is. It's like, a beautiful part of the state of Mississippi, Carter. It's a really there. awesome place. Um, but, I'm, but anyway, and we, uh, so I was asked to tag along. And, so I did, you know, free ride, and, uh, free place to stay. And uh, so we got together at the hotel room at the Comfort Inn in Corinth, Mississippi. Mississippi, Mississippi, Corinth, Mississippi. And uh, what y'all writing on? I said, well, I got this, and I did it. And Matt said, we're writing that. And it all came about because of my breakup with my buddies. So if you've heard it on the radio, that's Matt. But I don't get to do it that often, especially with him. So by golly, I started the song. I'm going to do it tonight. Is okay, that okay? Well, I hit rock bottom at the top of the corporate ladder. And I lost sight of everything that mattered. It was time to clean my act up While I still had time left Admitting that I had a problem That was the first step I'm a workaholic in recovery My therapy couch is a hammock between two trees no self-help tapes, just Jimmy Buffett CDs. I'm a workaholic in recovery. Well, I gotta admit there's times I miss the pain. And I might drink again, but I'm not gonna work today. I told him take that job and shove it, shove it. I don't need all your strength and tension. But I pack my bags for an island intervention. Cause I'm, I'm a workaholic in recovery. There ain't no dress code, just flip flops and cut off jeans. I got a bumper sticker that says, Rehab's a beach. Yeah, I'm a workaholic in recovery. Now, if you want to keep the habit, and you finally had enough, all you need is a sponsor, and there's plenty of us. Workaholics in recovery. A therapy couch is a hammock between two trees. No, no self help tapes, just Mad Hoggett CDs. Every one of them is here, baby. I'm a workaholic in recovery. Hey, Matt. Hey, Taylor. You know, what? 
They got me on that extended care program. Is that from the Affordable Care Act or the I Can Hardly Care Act? All I know is they say I might need more than 90 days. Well, you wouldn't want to relapse. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I'm a workaholic. In recovery, a workaholic. Workaholic. In recovery. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate that.